Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back, my name is Fizz and today we're taking a look at a game that you can be as naked as you could be, Dawn of Man. I've never played this game, we're gonna go take a look at this game at its glory from the tutorial to whatever. Sit back, relax and enjoy, let's get started. Alrighty, welcome ladies and gentlemen to Dawn of Man. In the game, you control a band of ancient humans strive for survival. This tutorial explains the basics and you can check in the in-game help for more advanced options. Before we start, this game is a settlement game of ancient humans, like we've already said. It's a guide, you gotta guide them through the, the ages, blah blah blah, you know, like kind of uh, Copper Age, Stone Age, you know, etc. until it's I guess technology? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of cool. So I figured I'll show you guys a couple of videos here and there, a gameplay weekend. If you guys like it, we'll do some more. So let's start. All right, Daughter Man uses FPS style camera controls. Move the camera. Yes, we got that. E. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> got some mammoths. Oh, you. No, you can. Uh, prop the camera around, pointing by rotating the painting, uh, painting wheel at the same time. Okay, you can check the uh, more advanced controls. Okay. Okay, Jesus. Your people will need constant supply of food to stay alive. One of the, uh, one of the more primary food sources, fish from the river and lakes. Send people to fish. Okay, how do I send them? All right, I get it. I think I get it. There's a lake. Send some fishermen. Okay, fish. Okay. Uh, fish. All of you, fish. In general, you can assign tasks to uh, tasks to your people by selecting an object like a tree, river, uh, animal structures, uh, then choosing one of the options in the selected panels. Okay. Okay. Next, you should gather some basic construction and crafting materials like sticks and flint. Okay. All right. Go get that. We get that. You can't fish for some reason. Oh, is he gonna go fish? Oh, she's gonna go fish. Go over there faster. My dude. Wait for your people to get one unit of raw fish sticks and flint. Pending, use the button or new buttons or four to sign a group. Uh, eight, okay. Oh. So yeah, this is kind of like a um, a game to you know um, micromanage and and stuff for survival and stuff. But it's like a really cool style kind of game. This is why I wanted to showcase that because the art style looks really cool. Also, the audio is like there's no. How do I edit the audio? <laughs> game menu. <laughs> there's just save and resume. All right, you know how to assign a task to your people. This is a good way to micromanaging. I was just talking about that. Too much micromanagement is tedious and effective. Ineffective work errors are a way to give general commands to your settlements that people will perform constantly. Okay, you can specify a location resource limit and the max number of people performing in this action are at one given time. Okay, oh god, place a fish working area. Well, how do I do that? Okay. Uh, gathering station, a flint, okay. Okay. Uh. Fish. Use Z and C to change the size. Okay. Okay, gathering is gonna be here. And collect harvest wild plants. Okay. And then obtain flint. Okay, got it. By default, you only one person at a time will go any to go to any given work area, but you can increase that. Increase this, okay. Then you gotta select this. Okay. Two. 
Two. Two. We want to make sure they're not hungry. Three. Allow three. Okay, wait for your people to gather. Get three units of stack plant. All right, so this is what we have right now. So we have a two fish, two sticks, <laughs> three flint, uh, two dries things, fishing tools, skin outfits, etc., etc. All right, master. They're at eight times now. Look at them. Oh, well done. Your people will now consider uh consistently gather resources until the limit is reached. Now the, the baron. The berries can only be gathered in the summer. Other resources in the game can be gathered in particular seasons. Okay, that's good to know. Um, now that you can... Now that you have some raw resources, let's craft some hunting tools! Alright, the main crafting structure in the Stone Age is a crafter. Build one, select... Okay. Alright, let's slow the game down a little bit. Okay. Let's build... Okay, uh, uh, you see, okay, okay, let's put it like right here, here we go, place a crafter, use the button four to craft it, alright, well, look at, they're gonna get, look at them, they're gathering, no, I don't, I want to see what they're gathering, so they have like, uh, different little spots for them to gather stuff, that's really cool, look at him, Look at him. Look at him gather. Look at him gather that stone. Work, baby, work! Wait for people to build it. Okay, so now they're gonna build it. Oh, this is kind of cool! Look at them! Oh, she's coming over here to help. She's like, listen, you guys don't understand what you're doing. I will tell you how to do it. They're celebrating! They're not done yet! Craft tools, select the crafter, then click on the tool recipe. Crafting task will add to a queue. Okay, let's craft some wooden spears. All right, so let's click this. And we're gonna add this and this. And... This, 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 this. Waiting for all tools, okay. Okay. Looks like the uh, beginning stages of this game could be very, very, very slow. Oh, well, there we go. There he goes. Oh, me, I, I thought he was gonna go make that. We now have all the tools we need to go hunting! Oh, jeez. I don't feel good about this. Hunting was a tricky business in the Stone Age. Killing a large animal with sticks and stones was no easy feat. No kidding. I'm surprised we actually even made it to this stage of technology of being able to play games on the computer. Anyways, use primal vision to find easy prey highlighted in a green. Avoid large animals and carnivores until you have the right tools and manpower. To hunt an animal... Okay. Hunt the animal? Primal vision. Ooh, hello. So we got some... What the hell is that? Is that a donkey? Well, that's a... That's a goat. Uh... Can I just... I This is a tutorial. I kind of want to send them off and kill a, uh... A mammoth? Wow, this is pretty big. Okay. There's a buffalo. Alright, well, it looks like the closest one is over here. Okay. Uh, probably been enabled using the mouse button tab. Completed. Tell your people to go hunt an easy prey. Highlight in green. Okay. How do I do that? Ah, you click on it. And they go hunt. Complete. Wait for your people to hunt the animal. Leave the primal version mode. Completed. Use button four to get to speed. All right, let's wait for them to go across the river. Oh, here we go. <gasps> She's our hunter. Oh, poor little donkey. We're gonna eat donkey. We're gonna eat assholes. Here she comes.
Is that donkey or a zebra? It is a donkey. We're gonna eat donkeys. Here she comes. The prey. It's a big one, too. Ooh. Damn. There she is. Coming in for the kill. Hiya! Oh my! One shot wonder, boys! One shot wonder! She's our hunter! Once the animal has been hunted, your people will butcher it and bring it the resources to camp. When hunt okay. That's pretty cool. Sometimes you might wanna want more control over your people action. You can do this by selecting a few people, then right clicking on the terrain uh terrain on the terrain. This will can can move people around and assign one of the particular tasks. This is okay. How do I get out of this view? I guess hit cancel. Can you just Okay. Send two people to hunt the same animal, then select them and right click on the same animal. Okay, so select. Select. Okay, send two people to hunt the animals and right click on. Okay. You can check out the help in game for more details. Alright. One of the resources you obtain from animals are raw skins. They are used to craft clothing and build structures, among other things. However, raw skins cannot be used directly. You have to dry them. Okay. All right. All right. Place two drying skins. All right. Place two dryers. Let's uh, let's place them like right here, right next to the crafter. Bada bing. And uh, bada boom. Go. All right, let's fast forward it. Yeah, this game can be very peaceful. That's why I've noticed. Uh, when do we uh when do we start telling the people to uh, make babies? Because we need more people than that. If we're gonna be a colony of thriving, vicious, man-eating. Uh, people, colony. We need more people, so we need we need babies to start being pumped out. All right, where where are the uh, babies being pumped out? I don't see any. Let's just fruit. Hey, there we go. There they go, they're bringing the food back. Very nice, very nice. They're hanging some more lots. Can we do two at a time? Oh, it's four at a time. Okay, that's pretty good. <gasps> Look at the baby mammoths. Oh, always keep a, a stock of dry skins as they are fundamental building for crafting materials. Got it. Look at the mammoths. In the, in the game, you earn knowledge points when doing certain action, hunting new animals, gathering new resources, researching new sense, blah, 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 blah. You can use them to research new technologies. Okay. What's my new technology I can learn? The food dryer. Tech. Unlock. The food dryer. <laughs> okay. I just asked for it. Which allows you to process raw meats and raw fish into uh, cured meats and dry fish. Alright. Let's make one of those. How do we do that? Open the tech panel. Well, where is it? F7? Oh my. Wow, this game goes... <gasps> so there is an Iron Age. Sweet! Oh, hydro power. Ooh, reinforced fortifications. Ooh, I feel like we're gonna have like war. This this game has a lot of potential already for me to play this. All right, let's unlock that. What's this? Dog domestication. Ooh, bone tools. Spirituality. We don't give a shit about that. Although actually, it might probably has. Yeah, it does some good benefits. You can make signals, canning. This is a good one right here. I'd probably go up. Oh yeah, these two right here. These would be really good. Okay. Uh, place a food dryer. All right. Go down here. Uh, storage, storage building. All right. Let's do a nice little storage building. Uh, let's do it right here. Yep. Right there, right in front of that, and then we're gonna do a food dryer. So we're gonna make all our food uh, right here. Let's make it like, let's put it like right here. 
Here, I'm gonna speed these guys up when they're doing that shenanigan stuff. Uh, actually, let's put it, put it right here. I don't know if that's um a good spot. Oh, look at them build. We can watch her, our warrior. There she is. Oh, they're pretty good models, actually. People models? I thought they were going to be, like, blank. Faces and everything. Oh, and he just disappeared. You guys are doing great. After this, can you, like, make some more babies so we can have more minions? Food dryer unlocked. Unlock construction and food dryer when you, you can... Okay, yes. Ours. Brain processing. Ooh. Ooh. Goodness. Wait, okay. Fast forward it. Obviously, this is a tutorial, so there's a lot of steps and stones. It breaks my bones, but names will never hurt me. But I figured I'd showcase this tutorial instead of actually going right into it. Uh, because it's a good, it's just a good opportunity to showcase what the game has to offer and how to do a lot of things, just in case people have questions. Because basically it shows you exactly all of it. And also there's a little helpful thing that you can click on this and you can ask. Let's see. Click dot. Text. And you can read all that. I hate it. One more unit. Yeah, there's our meats. There's our donkeys. Mmm, delicious donkey. Anyone have had donkey before? I haven't. I would love to try some. Just kidding. I really don't. Remember to always dry your food and keep it in a storage structure to prevent it from uh, preserving it for as long as possible. Got it. There we go. So this is only for preserving food. Okay. Man manual produc uh, produc production. Uh, every item is tedious and if ineffective. You can right click on a recipe tool to continuously production. Your people will then keep on the production. Okay. So we're going to right. Okay. So we're gonna right click, right click, and right click. So they're always gonna make that stuff. What is this? I didn't even get that. Your people now continuously produce the tools until the resources are limited in its reach. Note that some recipes are set to continuous production uh, by default. All right, like these, you know, fits. Oh my God, there's so much to read. Ugh, I hate reading. If everyone is well fed and taken care of, your settlement will reach a high level of welfare and prestige, and more people will want to join in. Join it. Oh, so that's how we get people. For new people to join the village, you have to build enough re uh, resist residence buildings and combinations of uh, the new people, the population. Otherwise, they will take, uh, will not con come. Okay. So that means we're going to build more houses. Build more houses. Build one right here. There's a little bait. There's a little kid right there. What's our population? Seven. Capacity is six. No space for... Okay. Can we make another one? <gasps> we can. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, we can make bigger houses. All right, eight times. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, I just lost this whole thing now. Now I can't get it back. <laughs> oh, that's that's bad. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is. Oh, okay. So you can see what I think. New humans will now join your settlement. Woo! Know that your settlement can now grow, uh, can also grow when your people uh, uh, reproduce. This plays a more important. Okay, great. That's that's perfect. I was also. You can. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, I want to note that there are quite a few other mechanics in the game than I expected here. You can. Okay. Cool. Can we continue playing? Oh, I guess not. 
I guess, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's the first episode of Dawn of Man. If you guys like this video, please tell me in the description down below. And if you want me to continue playing, there'll probably be one more video to see if I have learned the technology, the knowledge of actually playing this game for a playthrough. And we're going to do that in the next episode. So if you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and tell me guys what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Seems like a pretty good game. I will have to say.